Greetings, my friends. It's very hot outside. That's why I've been keeping cold by eating lots of stripesicles. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the final video of our three-part stripe tax series. In the previous part, we went through how to actually collect automatic taxes using the subscription and invoice API. In this video, we're going to be showing how to actually display an estimate of the taxes that your customers are paying before they even pay based on where they're located. Let's get started, shall we? Alrighty then. We're going to be using an API you may be familiar with, the upcoming invoice API. This is one that lets you check the upcoming invoice for a customer or a subscription. Um, but with the introduction of Stripe Tax, there's actually a new way to use it where you don't actually have to have an existing customer to use it. You can actually plug in customer details, which will include either an IP address or a regular address, and it will use that to calculate the taxes that's going to uh, be applied to the whatever they're purchasing. So let's kind of jump in the code here. I have a REPLIT. And you can see we're calling the retrieve upcoming invoice based on a payload. Uh, in this example, I have their address set to Dublin and I just put in a basic $100 subscription that you I showed you last time with uh, exclusive tax enabled. And really all you need to do is make sure you have automatic tax enabled to true, just like we had when we were enabling it on the subscription or invoice APIs. And let's go ahead and run it and see what taxes we're going to be paying. So as you can see, we're printing the uh, total tax amounts. We are paying the Irish 23% VAT tax to give us a total of $123 for this specific subscription. And you can see we don't have any sort of existing customer or subscription. This is just estimating what a brand new net new subscription is going to be for this customer. And the, one of the great things about this API is you can detect how much taxes somebody's probably going to pay by where their IP address is located. Um, obviously, at the end of the day, the billing address that the customer has entered is going to determine how much taxes they're going to pay. But you can estimate when they land on the page just by plugging in their IP. And I'm going to show you, you can plug in this tax IP address. I have here a German IP address. So we're going to run this. And you can see it definitely knows it's a German IP, 19% VAT, we would pay um, $119.00. So it, you just have to have a endpoint on your front end that will call this Stripe API. You can't run this code on the front end because you need your Stripe secret key to run it. Uh, but if you use something like Billflow or Stripe Checkout, uh, you, you don't have to do any of this work. It's already done for you. And I can kind of show you what that would look like. Here's how here's the bill flow um, checkout. And you can see if I plug it, it already knows based on the fact I'm in Walnut Creek, California, that I have to pay an 8.75% sales tax. And if I switch this to say France, uh, it will know that, oh, you're a France, so you have to pay a 20% VAT. If I go ahead and set my uh, VPN to the Netherlands, once that finishes connecting, you'll see that it will detect that I have a Dutch IP. So let's go ahead and refresh this now. And it should detect that we have here a 21% Dutch VAT. So you can see it does it based on IP. And as I said before, if we switch this to any other country, it, the billing address is going to override um, whatever IP location you have. So and that's the way it should be. And it's the same thing will work for Stripe Checkout. You just get it directed to another page instead of it being in your app. And uh, that's really all there is to it. That's about it. Have a great day and bye-bye.